they're reading slow because their eyes are moving differently. The goggles contract the eyes as they read and we can see how fast they're reading and what kind of eye movements they're making. It's a new technology and new ways to allow us to track patient disease condition and to evaluate the treatment outcome is to become like a mind blow. If we have enough data collected, we can probably model the disease progression. My husband is, oh my gosh, he's so supportive. I couldn't do half of the stuff I do. <laughs> the man proofs my makeup before I leave the house. I ask him, do, you know, does everything look okay? He's like, I, you know, I like what you've done with your eye makeup. And I was like, what's different about it? And he says, well, the red that you've got around your eyes learn a lot better to communicate about like and, and understand the other person. So you're at home and you've noticed that over the last several months you're having a harder time driving having a hard time reading. So do you have macular degeneration? The answer is probably not. As we get older, we have other reasons to have our vision be a little bit more blurry. Cataract formation happens in everybody, and that's probably the most common cause of why older people might have some vision disturbance. When we talk about the wet form, people will say, well, yeah, I tear a lot. Then do I have the wet form? And the answer is no. Tearing has nothing to do with the wet form of macular degeneration. The main thing to be concerned about it is if there's a more rapid loss of vision. Most important thing people can do is from time to time, as we get over the age of 50, to close one eye, then the other, and always make sure that both eyes are seeing as well as they can. If we notice a more rapid change in the vision in one eye, that might suggest that you are developing macular degeneration. taken out or removed um, <laughs> early in life, uh, within the first few weeks, then the vision is permanently damaged or permanently reduced. Gray, look. Look at these. They're still there. And we're going to turn it over just to make sure. And there you followed them over there. You, you like it, don't you? This is the first FDA approved device for the patient with blindness. This will send electrical signal to the retina to provide sensation to the patient.
I will do anything to help my sister. And so maybe some of the information from me can help her and the other millions of people that haven't because there's no place else to get this information. I would not know that I don't have it now if I hadn't come here. They obviously share many, many genes in common. So why is she protected? And that's what we're trying to find out. We do cutting edge research in macular degeneration to help millions of people who suffer from this disease. I am so proud to be part of this great organization. So I think the biggest impact that we've had is in fact translating work from the laboratory into the clinic. We have space, we see lots of patients here, so we're one of the few facilities that can do that what we call translational research. New ideas coming from the laboratory, being tested in patients, and then demonstrating that they actually work. And that is by far our greatest contribution to eye disease. The reason I come to work every day is because I see patients who lose vision, and I know that they're asking me for help. I have the skills, I have the facility, I have a wonderful organization behind me, and I feel that we have the promise of helping these patients who come to see me every day, asking me for my help. We know that kids with amblyopia, which is commonly called lazy eye, have problems um, with fine motor skills. With this experiment, what we do is we show them a dot and we get them to look at the dot and then point to the dot. So this is step one in the process for us to be able to help children with amblyopia. The genetic testing also allows us to um, predict how the traits will be passed on to children. As we enroll patients in clinical trials, we periodically go through this database to find candidates for those clinical trials to you know, help find treatments and cures. This is all about early detection, and if we can detect disease earlier, you can get treated earlier. It's amazing what I have seen happen in technology since I've been coming to the lab. We see, on average, children improve about one to two lines on a letter chart after uh, treatment with this. It's just really, really hard to admit that something's not perfect about you. The biking thing my husband and I used to do, um, we used to do road biking. Um, and we liked that. But then uh, one of our friends had a tandem bike and I was like, hmm.
We love it. Yeah, we ride around everywhere. We ride down here to the farmer's market. We ride all around the city on it. They're making amazing progress. Macular degeneration is where this film, or the retina, slowly stops working. It eventually leads to vision loss. It is remarkable, and then it's right here in Dallas, and they're, they're doing world-renowned work. New ideas coming from the laboratory, being tested in patients, and then demonstrating that they actually work. And that is by far our greatest contribution to eye diseases. After our clinical trials uh, in 2002, the, the Food and Drug Administration permitted the addition of DHA and arachidonic acid to infant formulas in the U.S., and then this spreads worldwide. We do eight tasks, um, three manual dexterity tasks, two aiming and catching, and three balance tasks. If you looked up retinitis pigmentosa, it was called a blind disease. You know, patients go blind. And we went, you know, wow, this is it, we got it. We send the kids home with a pair of red-green glasses and a game with red and green components in it. One eye sees all the red, one eye sees all the green, so they're forced to use their weaker eye along with their stronger eye to strengthen it.
improve with their weaker eye, um, we want to see if that stronger eye improves as well. It's just a different aspect of vision that we're evaluating. 